What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Barmine Tech and today we're going to be working on a new home dashboard solution. So if you run a lot of different services at your home lab, today we're going to be working on a new dashboard somewhere to hold all of them as bookmarks, and give status updates and everything else that you might want. Today we're going to be working with Heimdall, so it's actually going to be a Docker container. We're going to get it through the Nova Spirit self-hosted template. So if you don't have that, check the link below. I'll have a link to a video how to set that all up. And if I remember, I'll put a card in the corner. But we're going to be using that. It's going to be the easiest way to deploy it. You can grab it off a of Docker Hub or however else you want. But today we're going to be working with Heimdall. So let's get right into it. Also, a couple of housekeeping things. I changed my mic setup. I know we've had a lot of comments saying that there's a pitch. There's like a frequency sound. I think it was a mix between sitting next to my NAS and everything else. So I think that was what's getting picked up. I also moved my mic so it's a little bit closer. So hopefully the audio quality is better. And secondly, as you can see, the sun is already beating through the window, so I hope we beat it before it's a huge glare. Let's just keep going. So like I said, we're going to be working out of Docker and Portainer on this. So I do have the app template. If I come over, oh, it logged me out. So if I log back in, if I come over to settings, you can see I have the self-hosted template. And if you don't know how to get it, I will have the link to the video and show you how to set it up. But if I come back over to home, and I click local, I go over to here, you can see this is the bar my tech server. I actually need to turn that off. Uh, stop. Don't need the bar Minecraft running right now. So we'll come over to app templates. We're going to search and we're going to search Heimdall. You could also filter by dashboard. And on the app template, there's actually a few good ones. Um, so you can take a look and see which one you want to use, but today we're going to be working with Heimdall, that's where we'll be using today's video. We don't need to make any changes off the default, we just hit deploy container. And we're going to give this a minute to deploy, and uh, just like any other container, you know, it varies by your machine and the container. But it looks like it's going through. And if I check the set logs, it looks like it's working. So let's come over here, we're going to be using the 720280 port. We're going to open that up. And this is what time the going to look like by default. So it actually is going to be our dashboard. And if we give me one second, and if we do a little bit of customizing to it, we can actually get it looking like this. So we could add a search bar. We can actually change the wallpaper if we want. I'll show you how to do that. But we could also link our Docker services and pull the API. So it gives you stats on them as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that with this. Okay. So ours doesn't look anything like the one I just showed you, but let's, let's get how to set it up. So we're going to do add an application. And we're going to come over here and we're going to select application type and then we can click uh, scroll over here and now it has a ton of different Docker services, but I'm going to grab one that I know that we've worked on on the channel where it's going to be Pi-hole. And you can see it auto fills a lot of the information for Pi-hole already. And that's because I think it's called an enhanced app. So you can actually scroll down and it has a configuration for it. So you can link it with an API key and that's how you get the stats and everything to show. So let me just grab my pie hole info and then we'll be right back. So the first thing I'm going to grab is the URL and then I'm not going to change any of this because I, that's how I want it, but I am going to scroll down to config and then we're going to grab the API key real quick and then we're going to click test and you can see it successfully communicated with the API. So that means we should be all good and we should see pie hole on the home page with the stats. Click OK, click save. And you can actually see right there, it's giving me some basic stats right off of the homepage, telling me that the queries it's blocked and how much traffic's being blocked percent wise. Now, I did this a couple times testing it out, and it was hit or miss getting it to link. If it doesn't link, you just need to go into your sentence on Pi Hole and grab the API. That's where you would get it. I'm not going to go through all of that, but it would show it. And if it doesn't, just try removing it and re adding it. It's really simple. And you can see here's my Pi Hole, and it opens up in a new tab. Uh, if I can remember my password, there we go. Uh, you know, I'm able to log in and you can see the stats. Here's my queries blocked. There's my percentage. So it's cool. At a glance, you could see something like that. So I like to go in every now and look at my pie hole and see what's going on and not having to go through and really see, you know, how much is being blocked. It's a nice little touch. We're going to add some other containers to our homepage. So if you're just going to come over, over here on the right. And I know that my face is kind of blocking, so let me move that real quick. There we go. So now you should be able to see a lot better. So if we come over here, we have this menu over here and it has some of the information for our different pages. 
We're gonna click application list again. And over here, there's a little cloud and it has update app list. So we're gonna click that just to update the app list. And it's just gonna pull the current services and containers and stuff like that. So now that's all set, we can click add and we can come back over here and we can add new pages. So let's say I want to add some other stuff. I mean, they have a ton of different services on here and you probably run some of them, especially if you've been following the channel. There's Plex, there's Pi KVM, there's Proxmox. Uh, let's see, is Proxmox an enhanced one? It is, so let's try this out. I haven't tested this yet before, so let me grab my info and we'll be right back. All right, so this one looks like a little bit more work to get the API to link it, but we could, uh, I'm just gonna skip this for now. We're gonna go with something different. So I'm gonna click add, and then we're gonna come back over here and grab something different. So let's see what we have. Uh, let's see, I have a NAS, so we can link a NAS. So I'll do HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.50.203 colon 8080. So click save. See now I have a link to my NAS and uh, yeah, I think it's HTTP, that's why. There you go. So you see there's my QNAP NAS. So you can just add regular shortcuts too. It doesn't have to be all API uh, Docker containers, but you can definitely keep scrolling through here and you can figure out different ones you want to add and go from there. I know there's WireGuard. Uh, you could add Sonar Radar. Sonar is cool because it tells you um, like your queries that are missing, stuff that's looking for. Um, there's trans, there's, uh, where did you start? Sorry, not Synology, there's TDOR, Tatuli. There's a bunch of different cool ones. There's Uptime Kuma. I mean, there's, there's a ton of services on here that you could take a look at and add to your homepage and get different information on. Um, I had Sab NZB before. It was telling me some stuff like that. Give me some details of like what's downloading and uh, from there. So yeah, you could take a look through here and you can figure out what uh, services you want to add and then you can keep adding them and linking them so it you know, gives you the cool status. But we're gonna move on to some other stuff. So I have my two pages here. You could also bookmark pages, I believe. Uh, you can just bookmark websites. So if I want to bookmark www.youtube. Wow, typing is hard today. Slash at barline tech. Uh, okay, it wants HTTP. That should be good now. And we'll select the YouTube. Yeah, see, and Bill has all the icons built in, which is really nice. They can save that. And there we go. It's going to bring you over to the best YouTube channel on YouTube, Bar Mind Tech. But yeah, it's just another option. So you could do websites as, as well. But yep, yeah, that's just another option. So you can see there's a couple of cons uh, there's a couple of links we set up. So you have a website, you have to a non-enhanced container, and then you have an enhanced container that you could actually see the stats for. Um, you can reorder stuff, so you can you know move it around, depending on how you want it. And you can also tag stuff. Uh, so over here, you know, you could do it like that. So if I want to do a uh, website, you would have to add the tag first, I think. So if we come over to tag list, you could do. I lost it, I guess. Yeah, you could do add tag. So we'll do website. Uh, we can pin, we'll give it a try. You could also upload an, a custom icon. I'm not gonna do that at the moment. <laughs> Come back over here. Uh, we'll do the website. And uh, we could do website. So messing around with it. Um, it looks like really the restructure is just kind of moving around. You can't really move it into different areas. I feel like you can group it somehow. I just haven't figured that out just yet, but I, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, I'm gonna keep messing with it, but let's move on to the next part. So we keep going down the list. We have users. So you can add a additional users or you could update the admin account to have a password or an auto login. So you can make it so only you can edit the homepage. So that's a nice touch, give it a little security. Uh, if we keep going down, we have the tag list. You know, it's just how you add some tags. So if you wanted to give different apps tags, we have settings over here. So the settings probably have the most options. Uh, over here, you can change your background image. So I'll just pick something quick out of my pictures. Um, we'll give it Dale. Click save. Uh, you can't really see Dale, so we're gonna change that back. And you just reset back the default. Um, you could do triangle fight. I, I don't really know what it does. It just kind of changes the appearance. I didn't really like the way it looks. 
Uh, you can set so you have a homepage search, which is really nice. You can just search right off your homepage, and then you can set who you want to search with as the default provider. So if you want Bing, DuckDuckGo, StartPage, Google, you can set. You can change it so your search opens up in the same tab, or you can make it in a new tab, which we probably want to do so we don't keep losing our homepage. And then there's also some advanced options. So you get a custom CSS or custom JavaScript. I, I don't. I'm not a programmer, so I'm not going to really mess with that stuff. But if we come back down, uh, if we come back to the top, it looks like we can export our config or you can import a config, which is really nice. I like when you can uh, export a config of it and then if you have to move to a different system or you lose it and have to start over, you could actually just pick back up where you left off. So I really like that feature of this because in the past I've had to restart my flame dashboard and I had to start from scratch because there's really no way to export the config in flame come over to the search you can see you can still change what you want and if we do a quick search we'll open up a new page and here's bar mine tech look there's last week's video make sure you check that one out and here's even better here's how to install docker and portainer right for what we're using today if you don't know how to set it up the links will be below but yeah this is heimdall uh it's a pretty simple container and i honestly i really liked how it looks um i want to mess with it a little bit more but this might be my new dashboard instead of using flame I really like how the API can link and you can show some of the stats off the dashboard because I do have a lot of containers I run that would have stats like this because they're enhanced. But yeah, that's Heimdall and uh, that's our new dashboard we worked on today. We might have some more in the future, but what's the dashboard that you use for your home lab? Comment below what you use and how you like it, if it works good for you, because maybe if, I'll check it out. Uh, you know, I know there's a few other ones. There's Homer, there's um, Homepage, I think it's called. There's Flame and then there's Dashy. I've worked with Dash before and I really wasn't a fan of it because of how it worked, but we might revisit it. Um, I might check out Homer as well, but so far Heimdall looks like a really good candidate after Flame for me at least. I know Homepage had a lot of different work to add to it, so we might work with that in the future too. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I know it was a little quick one, but it is always nice to have a good homepage to work to organize your home lab. And uh, maybe you know this will be helpful for you. You might have the new homepage to use. There's a couple things. I do have a Discord server, so you can join below. And I have a Twitter. You can follow me on there. Try to reach out if you need something. Or, you know, just normal chat. See what's going on. Other than that, I have some Amazon affiliate links below. Some hardware that I use, hard drives and stuff like that. So if you want to get some of the hardware that I use in the videos, check below. And you can grab them over there. I have a couple hard drives that are not too crazy priced. And they're pretty reliable. So they're good hard drive options. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you all for watching.